we've had quite a lot of questions all focusing around leg cramps and people saying they get a lot of leg cramps during the day, but still get them at night as well. How can this be stopped? It's a really, really difficult one. And I'm, I'm not remotely surprised that we've had so many questions in about it because it is a very, very common condition. So many of my patients come in and particularly night cramps. So leg cramps are very common. They're particularly common in your calf muscles. They can happen anywhere, but by far the most common. But there are some medicines, for instance, um, which can cause leg cramps. We don't know exactly why people get them. Sometimes it can be due to, you know, for instance, having the, the wrong medication um, that could that, that there are there are certain medications that can make it worse. Um, but it may well be that we are never going to know exactly what it is that causes your leg cramps. So the secondary, what we call the secondary causes, things like statins, I will mention, but as I say, in the majority of cases, that's not the case. But water tablets, thiazide diuretics, loop diuretics, which are often given for retained fluid, for instance, in heart disease. There's a, a blood pressure medication, another blood pressure medication. Thiazide is usually given for high blood pressure, but there's another blood pressure medication called nifedipine. Sometimes people who have bipolar, for instance, will take lithium. All of these medications can cause leg cramps. So it is definitely worth speaking to your pharmacist in the first instance and seeing whether they're, whether any of your medications, if they came on, particularly if they came on after you've been taking them, then do think about those. Being, um, being dehydrated can definitely make you more prone to leg cramps. If you have problems with your kidneys, then it can affect the salts in your bloodstream, your sodium, your potassium, having, having abnormal levels of those can cause it. Peripheral arterial disease, can cause it again more common that it's going to cause things like this intermittent claudication that I mentioned. But really, in a lot of people, there isn't an obvious cause. It usually comes from the muscle because of muscle spasm, and that usually occurs when your muscle is contracting too hard, can affect the muscles in your feet. It typically lasts for a few minutes, but it can last a very long time. I get them myself, and it can, you know. You you can sometimes I, I will feel I will know which leg I've had muscle cramps in for 12, sometimes 24 hours after I've had it. So I'm very, very conscious that they can be really, really problematic. Now, apart from there are some medications that, that have been recommended. But we don't recommend quinine routinely. We used to recommend quinine on a really regular basis, but we actually don't recommend it that often just because you can have quite a lot of serious side effects, including heart problems from it. So overall, we don't recommend quinine until it's a last resort. There are some other treatments that people talk about, magnesium, vitamin B complex, vitamin E, that sort of thing. But actually, again, there is not that much evidence that they work. Perhaps more importantly is things like keeping hydrated, um, stretching exercises, really worth giving a try. So what we're talking about here is things keeping it leaning towards the wall. So putting your leg, standing a little way away from the wall and then keeping your feet flat on the floor and then moving, bending your ankles so that you are stretching those ankles. It is well worth giving them a try. They are not going to do any harm. And we would suggest that you do it sort of, you know, five times, maybe five minutes, three times a day doing the last one about maybe sort of half an hour before bedtime once things have settled and I, I have had quite a lot of patients where things have settled within about maybe a month or so sometimes this quickly as two weeks or so and then they can cut down and start doing it every couple of um you know once or twice a day um it won't necessarily absolutely get rid of it but it you may find that it improves it the other thing which may work would be to use a pillow to prop your feet up when you're lying on your back so that you're not Crack the, those legs, aren't, those muscles aren't shortening, maybe hanging the feet over the edge of the bed if you're sleeping on your front. And certainly I would recommend keeping your blankets loose. Use a duvet rather than blankets. And if you are using blankets, don't tuck them in because that will mean that your toes and feet will point downwards and that can cause those muscles to, to contract. Yeah, anything to add? 
No, I think Sarah's covered it all. Really, the diagnosis of cramps is a diagnosis by exclusion, if you like. We start off with the common causes. We make sure there's nothing significant there. The arteries, the veins, the kidneys, and then we go down. And if you, the, the one thing is you need to speak to your general practitioner about this to make sure that there's nothing significant going on. And then we can work with you about controlling it. Often it's quite normal and nothing to be overly worried about, but we just need to make sure there's nothing tremendously going wrong in terms of the, the arteries, the veins or the kidneys in the first place. So just ensure that you are reporting it back to your GP, but don't get overly concerned. If they've excluded all of those things and you're still getting the leg cramps, it might just be one of those things, but it's about making sure we've excluded those major causes in the first instance.